This morning on The Dish, the Thai restaurant, the top Esquire's list of the best new restaurants of 2020. Kalaya was opened by a former flight attendant who was retired for nine years before she returned to her longtime dream. Nok Suntaranen wants to change the widespread perception of Thai food as quick and easy takeout by opening a Thai restaurant focused on fine dining. We were more than ready for the experience. This looks incredible. <laughs> Yeah, the look is everything. <laughs> and, I mean, That's the first impression when you see it. It builds your appetite. Where do we start? Um, we start from the appetizer. Nok Sunturan and kick things off with what might be the most colorful dish we've ever seen, including tapioca dumplings with a mushroom, sweet radish, and peanut filling, and flower-shaped dumplings with chicken and sweet radish inside. It's a bird dumpling. It's a bird. It's a bird. My name is Nok. It means bird, so this is my... <laughs> Dumpling. <laughs> it takes uh, hours to make these so completely by hand, but it's well worth it. Mm. So fresh. My food is built around memory of my childhood. So my grandmother, she always loved to cook the little appetizer for me when she came, I came back from school. Sunturanen's grandmother never shared any of those old recipes, so she relies on the memories of the tastes and smells she experienced growing up in Thailand. So this dish is come from the old capital of Thailand in Ayutthaya that's very close to Bangkok. That includes this spicy and sour lemongrass soup with barramundi, mushrooms, and these jumbo river prawns. Okay, so I break the head off? You break the head off, then you will find the part in the head is tomales, that's like the brain or the fatty part. You can scrape it okay. back into the bowl. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the best part. I love Look it. Look at I love that. It. I love I know. it. It's you like can, yeah. squeezing out the best condiment ever. Exactly. And it's so creamy. It adds a very good flavor and good consistency into the broth. Some people think you eat Thai food with chopsticks. You don't. No, we don't. Sunturanen's take on traditional Thai dishes are a unique blend of Buddhist culture, Indian-style curries, and crucially, South American chilies, originally brought to the region by Portuguese missionaries in the late 1600s. Their intensity is matched only by Sunturanen's personality. Heat is something that Thai dishes are famous for, and you're famous for not backing off on that heat. You don't make less spicy dishes. No, I never back off from anything, not just only food. <laughs> I like that. I like that. For more than 20 years, Sunsaranen worked as a flight attendant for Kuwait Airways, then Thai Airways. Have you had a fresh river prawn before? No, I don't think so. She was retired for nine years before opening Kalaya in Philadelphia in 2019. A nearby Thai market followed last year. One thing that I think sometimes intimidates people about Thai food, especially really authentic Thai food like this, is that it's not, it's not simple. It's, it's complicated. You know, that's how you could look at it. But the other way that you could look at it is like, this is the way of life. This is the culture. Well, that's one of the things I love about your cooking is that you don't, some people try to Americanize their food. And you yes. don't. You embrace wh where you came from. Because I think, you know, when I moved to America, I. I learned how to eat cheeseburger or um, mac and cheese, and I never asked to put the you know, ground chili on my burger or mac and cheese. So yeah. maybe it's time for people to learn how to eat the right curries without asking for me to tone it down or add you know, carrot or celery or whatever in my curries because that's not, not the right thing to do. After the river prawn soup, we move to a duck salad with kefir leaves and dried chilies. Then this delicious crab fried rice with scallion and egg. What is in this? This is so good. The eggs and pickle mustard green. Okay. That's very simple. That's my mother's cooking. She will cook all vegetable with eggs. They go with everything. It goes with everything. Next, a colossal crab curry served in a house-made velvety curry powder sauce. Maybe our favorite. I'm glad I'm making somebody very happy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Velvety is a good word for it. It it's is. It's a great texture velvety. to this. Yes. What makes it different is we use Chinese celery that you just had to bite into it. And the flavor of Chinese celery cut with the curry powders. So, so the, f the first bite I had, it didn't have the Chinese celery in it? No. And the second one, it did, and it makes all the difference? Yes.
That was followed by steam bronzino with a lime and a Thai chili broth. Phuket-style crab meat curry served with rice noodles, cucumber, cabbage, and long beans. There aren't many places in America where you can get this. Without me and my staff, no, because we're not going to be there. So only at Kalaya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, next. You yeah. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So you're going to be a little bit more adventurous? Yeah, sure. Okay. Stinky beans with toasted ground chicken curry and shrimp paste. Ooh, stinky bean. Yes. That's what my wife calls me. <laughs> <laughs> this called homesick edition because I miss home so much. I have not been home in a year. So I created more dishes that could bring me closer to home. And so what is the stinky bean? This is the bean? This is the stinky yes, bean? Yes, stinky bean is the kind of fruit that we use widely in southern cooking. It's available in rainy season. It has a very unique flavor. It's really good for your body. We finished with coconut rice, chicken curry, and cabbage. There is one prominent Thai dish you will not find on this table, and that you will not find Sun Turan in serving in her restaurant. You don't have pad thai on your menu. We do on takeout, not in the dining room. And people ask for it, and you say what? I smile. <laughs> I smile a lot. <laughs> because I want my restaurant to be Thai Fi dining. Where do you hope you can take Thai food moving forward? What I would like to take Thai food forward is the perception that Thai food or ethnic food should be inexpensive. We should move past that. You've convinced me. I did? Yes. <laughs> Maybe the big giant shrimp convinced you, <laughs> not me. <laughs> All of it. And just for you guys, oh, I have hey. lots incredible dumplings, bird dumplings. Amazing. They are just, it takes her three hours to make this. Oh.